here we are. My name's Katie Taffler. I'm 26 years old and I'm a strategy consultant in London. OK, so what are we looking for? I'm here because I've had quite a lot of trouble finding my dress. Well, what have you tried on that you don't like? All of it. But a bride is too demanding or too picky may end up disappointed and without a dress. To be honest, I can't remember how many dresses I've tried on. It's countless. It's OK. But I feel I am fairly picky and fussy, but that's OK. I like the buttons, but I don't like the sparkles. It's my day, I want to feel good, and I'm not going to get married in a dress that I don't feel good in. That's like a birdcage. Oh, Hi, ladies. Hi, I'm David Emmanuel. Hi. Which which one of you is the bride? Yeah, I'm Katie. Hi, nice Katie. Nice to meet Please you. How do you do? This is Kim, our consultant. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. I love you to meet you. Hi, Kerry. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. So, first time shopping for a bridal gown? Unfortunately not. I feel like all around London. OK. So, <laughs> where, where, where's the wedding happening? It's happening in somewhere called South Farm, which is a country farm in Cambridgeshire. It has that rustic feel of countryside and beautiful gardens. I want everyone to have an amazing time. Any idea what your fiancé would like to see you in? What he does not want to see me in is lace curtains. Lace yeah. curtains? David Shulak is the name of my fiancé. I've been with him now for five years. David is obviously the love of my life. He's my soulmate. And when I'm with him, it's like the best, best feeling ever. What sort of look? So, in terms of the look, I quite like the kind of 1920s glam, kind of simple and elegant. Now, you're tiny. Exactly. I want something that makes me look like I'm an adult with a figure, not a child playing dress up. What sort of price point are we working to? Um, about £1,500. £1,500. So, darling, need you in the dressing room. Yeah. You ladies relax and retire. Come on, off you go. Wish me luck. <laughs> I've got alarm bells going off in my head. She's been to millions of shops. Mm. She tried millions of clothes. Absolutely. She may be unfocused, or even worse, her expectations are too high. If we put into too many gowns, she's going to get she even more world. overwhelmed. So Kim and I are going to select just three dresses, all of which match Katie's vision of 1920s glamour. I think we should start with this one. Um, I... This one, I feel it's boring. OK. As you know, they look entirely different on. when you've actually got them on. Wow, 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 wow. What do you think? Um, it's OK. It looks like a summer dress I could wear to a summer party. It doesn't look like a wedding dress. I mean, the sequins, I feel, they're scales, like fish scales. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We can't have a bride feeling like a fish on her wedding day, can we? Guys, <laughs> I think it's quite average. It's not the most flattering shape. I think you don't like it. I'm a bit underwhelmed by it. It's just the wrong shape, it's the wrong style. It's not for me. Back to the dressing room and we start again. Well said, okay. well said. The first dress left Katie feeling more like a cold fish rather than an elegant bride. So I'm hoping this next frock can warm her up and give her that 20s glam that she's been looking for. Ah. Uh? Wow. What do we think? <laughs> it's better than the other one. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Ladies, what do we think? I think you look really hot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Yeah. We're warming. I like the warmth. <laughs> It's a lovely neckline. Lovely neckline. I think the V back is also really nice. I do like the back. Actually, the shoulders look nicer yeah. than the back. And you've got a lovely train. I love the train. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Kim, I think we're doing something right now. Absolutely. We're getting there. We're on the right line. Absolutely. Uh, it's the nicest thing you've tried on. We've won the friends over with the dress, and perhaps Katie too. It's more grown up for you, it's and it's so more elegant. I love the material. Yeah. I love the structured satin. But I think this is too much for me, the outness. This isn't the right neckline for me. So I want it, like, in. Do you want it, like, straight all the way down? Maybe. You see, I think that's the problem. Right. I think you're jumping. Yeah. I don't think you really know. Oh, I absolutely don't know what I want. Right. One minute you want 20s, which is straight. Then, then when you had the 20s, first beta, you're pulling it in, yeah. which is fishtail. Yeah. I'm getting huge mixed messages. Silhouettes are muddled. It's difficult. I mean, none of this is what I want. The point is, I don't know what I want. Now, at this stage, she's got to have trust. I want her to look fabulous. That's my job. 
I know David thinks I'm really confused, but I don't think I'm confused. I just think I don't want to compromise with this dress. Katie's fussing over her frocks. Her vision has become completely muddled. Kim and I would better come up with something quick, or I fear that she'd be leaving the shop empty-handed. This is the other dress we pulled for you. Are you still happy to try this? It's OK, but I think I would quite like to see what else out there. OK, that's my pleasure. Ah. Back to the drawing board. Thankfully, Kim's got something in mind, a simple yet elegant 1920s-style fit and flare gown made of gorgeous soft satin. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. So, Katie, mm -hmm. what are your initial thoughts? Yeah, let's try it on. So, that can sit off the shoulder. So, how are you feeling in this dress, Katie? I feel good. I feel quite excited. So, you said the word excited? I did, I know. I never thought I'd say that. Hallelujah. I thought we would never get this. But Katie's actually said something positive for the first time today. Fingers crossed that our picky princess goes for this one. Oh. 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 How do we feel? I really like this one. Really? Yeah, I do. The neckline's nice, the waist is nice, the material's nice. Spin around, darling, spin oh, what around. What do you think? Huh? It's beautiful. Yeah. Lovely yeah. neckline, yeah. Do you like it? I love it, I think it looks beautiful. It shows up her figure really nicely. Just looks awesome on her. And you wanted something unique and different. I haven't seen one gown in the shop yeah, like this. It is very unique, isn't it? So the price, darling? 1,180. That's really good. Oh, that's a lot good. under budget. I think it's aching for a veil. Yeah. You see, that's the magic. You've got to feel happy. Do you feel happy? I do feel happy, yes. I feel this dress is really special because it is elegant and chic and classic without being boring. After all the shop hunting, yeah. you'll be, be completely swamped. Yeah. The only thing I'm left to say is, are you going to say yes to this dress? I think I'm going to say yes to the dress. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for a large glass of champagne. Yeah, I'll be joining you. I feel really excited and buzzy, and I feel like a princess. I feel like there's a massive weight off my shoulders. Like, this was really stressing me out. Now I can get on planning the rest of my wedding. Catherine, nice to meet you. Hello, Catherine. Tell me about the wedding. OK, the wedding is going to be at Cripps Barn in the Cotswolds. It's a lovely old oh, stone barn. Lovely. The theme of the wedding is kind of really relaxed. Country, garden, barbecue. It's just gorgeous. Do you have a... A budget I have to be respectful of. My budget is a thousand pounds. I could okay. I could stretch max to one thousand two hundred, but I'd love to be under a thousand. Okay. George and I will be paying for our wedding dress out of our own wedding budget. Um, it's really important that I do that because it's just how we roll. Tell me what your vision is. I prefer the kind of fitted, mm -hmm. the fitted style, but I'm not sure how that will look on me. So let's go shopping. Okay. Lovely. Cool. Although I like to get a bargain. Cheap isn't my style. I, I like all the all the lace, mm -hmm. and I love the shape it gives me here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I didn't think I'd like it, but I do like it. It's nice. It's really nice. This first dress makes me feel really curvy and really womanly. Your figure looks really nice in that. I'm not sure about the corset's back. No, I think it's really nice. It's not too gypsy wedding. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> this this is nothing like Gypsy Wedding, darling. Yeah, no. Trust me. And I think she will have surprised herself with this dress. Mm, I agree. But it looks so nice on her girls and in her waist. It is beautiful, really lovely. What's the price, Catherine, on that one? It's one three six seven. A little bit more than what you. A little bit more than I wanted. Just a smidge. Just a smidgey smidge. That's a little bit more than I wanted to spend. I might have to think about that one. Sit, my Get that. Sit. So I think the next one we should try is this one here. Yep. Catherine loved dress one, but it was a little bit over budget. I picked out some gowns which are more in her price range, so we'll move on to those. Yeah, it's just definitely not, not me. 
It's just too tight to see, really. I'm shocked that I actually feel so rubbish in it. We're now going to do a line. OK. Uh, I'm not sure at all about this shape here. You don't like Coming that in, shape. I think it makes my top half, which I'm really not friends with. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> Um, look massive. It's it's a no, so... It's a no. <laughs> it's a right. definite no. I'm a little bit concerned at this point. Two dresses in a row within my budget have not been quite right, and it's really disheartening. So, I'll be back in a mo. Lovely, thank you. I know we have the perfect dress for her, but I'm not going to sacrifice style for budget. Sophie decided to slip into an over-the-budget gown, and if she falls in love with it, she's going to be in a tough spot. It's definitely like this one a lot. How do you like it? I love it. You love it? Yeah. I mean, this one is coming above budget. Yeah, difficult. <laughs> ah. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh. Are you all right? That's it. Wow. That's so nice. That's beautiful. What do we think? That's Love it. One. This is over a price, though. It's £1,595. This dress is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen her wear. But obviously, this dress is almost £500 over budget. I love it. Yeah, me too. Love it. Yeah. On the back. <gasps> That's stunning. It's just the price. <laughs> Even though I am a bride with a very strict budget, um, I have completely fallen in love with this dress. Do you feel that we could sort of move the budget or...? I'd have to speak to Mum. Yeah. I need to now speak to my Mum and see if there's any way that we can maybe add more money to the budget. Hello, Hello. Mum. We found Sophie a really good dress, but we just want to get your opinion on it, OK? OK, yeah, okay. yeah. Have a so, look. There you go. Hello there. Hello, Hello. Mother. What do you think? I like the front. Let's have a look at the back then. OK. Oh. I think it's lovely. Ah. I really like that. Slight what issue. Yeah? It's slightly over budget. Uh, OK. How much is it? It's £1,595. Oh. I have to think about that. I'm a bit worried that my mum thinks I need to stay within my budget. It's a beautiful dress. Obviously, your opinion matters a lot to Sophie. If I don't find a dress today, I am going to be really disappointed. What do you think of it, Sophie? I love it. Really love it. Maybe I could put some towards it as well. Yeah. Well, if that's one you want, yeah. So, Sophie, do you feel like this is your dress? definitely imagine myself walking down the aisle in this dress. Really hope Matt cries. I just want him to think, oh, wow, she's looking beautiful. Oh, so, wow. I've got a feeling about I this like one. This shape. Catherine is going to love this dress, but maybe not the price, but it's a risk worth taking. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this one will be the one. We've got that lovely fitted shape and this beautiful, beautiful tray. What do you think? I really like this one. Um, I really like this one. I feel really beautiful in this dress and it makes me feel confident. It hugs me in all the right places. It's got everything that I wanted on it. It's got the sleeves, it's got the detailing. Yes. I like that. I like it. I like this one. It's lovely. Are <laughs> <laughs> you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just lovely. She's my little girl. Now she's grown up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. What do you feel? I feel grown up. I feel like I should feel. It makes me feel perfect. It just makes me feel like a proper bride. What's the price of this one? Oh, this one. Um, let me have a little <laughs> look for you. Oh, no. And the price is 
Catherine Wilbarter. You know how I said I'd love to be under a thousand? Absolutely. Is there any chance no. of that? Oh, okay. No. It's worth a try. <laughs> Oh, I hope this isn't the end. I know. <laughs> so, could you maybe do 10% off? That could be doable. And maybe throw in a veil? <laughs> oh, my God, you're such a hard taskmaster. <laughs> um, I don't see why not. Oh, thank you very, very much. No, that's my pleasure. Are you saying yes to this dress? I am saying yes to this dress. Yay! That's pretty. My name is Jenny Harris. I am 30 years old. Today I'm here with my mum and my younger sister. Are you going to have legs? I don't really know. I, I know I want buttons down the back. And my friend Rachel. We've been best friends since we were 11. She actually got engaged a day after me um, and she's now getting married before me. So we need to be a bit careful because we might like the same things. Ladies. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Hi, Hi. I'm David Emanuel. Hi, pleased to meet you. you. Hello, you must be a mummy. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hello. I'm Rachel. Best and friend. I'm Rachel, best Jenny. friend. Bride. I'm engaged as well. Oh. So we can't have anything too similar? The first rule of wedding dress shopping is not to upstage the bride. But these two best friends seem to be vying for the spotlight already. I can see cats. W yeah. W w what's that good to um, do? I'm a big fan of cats. I'm very lucky someone proposed to me because otherwise I probably would be a crazy cat lady. My fiance is called Alex. He proposed with a picture of my cat Thomas with a little ring in front of the cat. So, will you marry my daddy? <laughs> And then a ring came out. I always knew I would marry him. It was just a case of when. So I'm really, really lucky. Any theme, any particular idea? Because I'm very pear-shaped. Right. Immediately I'm thinking no to a mermaid, but I don't know where else to go. I really want to get involved in Jenny's wedding dress shopping. Also, slightly selfishly, I'd quite like to see what she's got in mind. Where are we with budget? About 1,500. I am slightly nervous because me and Rachel do have quite a similar style. We're going to find Ideally, the dress of your dreams. The only thing I'm hoping, she's got a winter theme, um, so I'm hoping she goes for a bit, something a bit more winter wonderland. I'm sensing a little competition between these two best friends, so I really need to find Jenny a sensational dress. I don't know if this is going to be too, too much for her, but I mean, I love the neckline on I that. I love that neckline, yeah. Something that will really wow her guests. The colour's yeah, fabulous really on good. this. Really nice. It's soft, it's pretty. I actually really like this one. I like the top. I like the tool. That's really nice. That is beautiful. Yeah. Quite dramatic. The back, that is absolutely beautiful down the back. I like the buttons down it. The only concern is I know Rachel wants buttons and I don't know how she'll feel about it, if I'm honest. These two best friends are getting married at the same time and want completely different style dresses, but they both love buttons. This be trouble. Check out the back. It's quite dramatic if you're looking for a wonderful entrance. Like the buttons. I want buttons. Will this be an issue if I had something with buttons? <laughs> you wanted buttons as well? It's got to be oh, buttons on I my see. dress. Now all of a sudden she likes buttons and that's something that I've always said that I wanted. Don't want you being upset about it. It can't be all about buttons. I mean, no. buttons are buttons. If we like the same thing, I think we'd both sit through each other's weddings and be a little bit unhappy about it. The th thing about you two ladies is, it's quite simple. She's got a very different figure to yeah. you. It's quite important that we both like each other's dresses, but they're not too similar, because we'll have all the same guests. Rina, the next one, darling. Yes, absolutely. Let's all right, go. you ready? I definitely need to try something else on. In bridal, there are plenty of rules, some of which are fun to break, but others are there for a very good reason. My bride, Jenny, should have free reign to pick a dress, but it turns out her best friend, Rachel, is also getting hitched, and they don't want the same style. So I'm hoping this strapless gown is less Rachel and more Jenny. One of the things I was really nervous about was just having a whole load of this and nothing else. But actually, the fact that it kicks out there... It's lovely, isn't I'm it? I'm avoiding this, which is just the bit I want to avoid. So okay. I thought I'd actually feel a lot bigger in this dress, because it's quite tight. But I feel surprisingly good. I need to see what Rachel thinks of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. A lot wow. of dress. <laughs> what do you think? You um, like the lace? Yeah, I like the fact that it's not laced all the way down. I like these sort of, as yep. it disappears as it goes down. Yep. But I just don't know if it's too predictable for me, because I wear strapless. What do you think, Mummy? I just don't think it's very wow. 
I don't think I like the pattern and maybe I don't like it because it's not symmetrical. I don't like the lace detail and some of the beading are unfortunately placed. She's got a bead on each nipple by the looks of it. You've got a great yeah. little figure. I'm happy. I yeah. think that looks, it looks nice, great. the shape. Let's get you into the next frock. The dress is just beautiful, but there's no wow. I wear strapless things all the time and it, it does give me that feeling that I've seen it before. You're a bride to be as well. Is, was that something you'd look at? That wasn't my uh, style. No. No. no, I'd be happy if Jenny wanted that dress because it wouldn't clash with what Good. I've got in mind. I want something satin and quite simple. I want to look like a snow queen. Have you seen something? I've had a, yeah. I've had a look Let's at some. Look. Show me, show me, show so, me. OK, I'm waiting for Jenny to change. Yeah, right at this moment, I'm doing two for the price of one. I was concentrating on the main bride, but now her best friend Rachel has spotted a dress she likes. That's a beautiful gown. Snow Queen is about to appear. Hopefully, no noses will be torn in a joint. We've just got to see what happens. Do you really love the back? Yeah, and no, I love the back. OK, so what about putting your hair up with this one? Do yep. you like a hairband? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely try it. I absolutely love this dress. Neckline, you know, the bling at the top, but actually it's fairly plain as it goes down, so it's not too busy all over it. What do we think of this? That's my favourite by far. Really lovely. Because Where's Rachel? Rachel, darling, in the meantime, were you changing? She, she, we spied a dress. It's so not this dress. No, it's not this dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I would never put you in the same gown. Okay. And I know you want to be completely different. Yeah. This dress I actually really like, um, but Rachel is not there to give me her opinion. While Jenny is trying on a dress, Rachel has decided to ignore bridal etiquette and put on an ice princess gown for her own wedding. Rachel, darling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's so sparkly. It's very sparkly. It's white. It's really it's white. white. Do you know, Rachel, I never saw, thought I'd see the day when you'd have more bling. More bling than Jenny. Than Jenny. <laughs> but yeah. Darling, it's not a competition. <laughs> Look, two complete... I've got mine in the back. Two yes. completely <laughs> different themes. Seeing Rachel in her dress is actually a really bizarre feeling. It's nothing like I would want, so I'm really happy. So if she loves that dress, she can have it. You want to be the Snow Queen? <laughs> I think you look like the Snow Queen. What do you think? I do like it. I'm not sure if it's my dress. Oh. I I'm see. Not sure. I thought the skirt was too big for me. I thought the beading covered too much of the dress. I think I might need a little bit less. You wanted ice queen, snow queen, darling. I know. <laughs> I've changed my mind. You're sparkling. <laughs> I'm very sparkly. I don't okay, think it's we won't. Okay, we won't talk no. about you. We're going to concentrate on you. <laughs> I'm okay, done. Really the vibe. Mummy, what do you think? Yes or no? I like that. I, I do. Vibe. I love it. That one is gorgeous. It's gorgeous from the front and the back. I do you think it's too? No, Puffy. no. I think that's really nice. Do you love the dress? Yeah, I do, actually. I really love it. She looks stunning. She looks like a bride. She looks so happy. So am I going to ask the question? Are you going to say yes to the dress? I say yes to the dress. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Jenny's found her dress that suits her perfectly. She looks so lovely in it. And I'm also extremely pleased that it's nothing like what I want for my wedding day. Well, at least I'm sorted. I'm getting married off you. One down. <laughs> I feel like a million dollars in this dress. I'm constantly surrounded by beautiful brides, dolling them up, so I'm happy it's about me. Finally! Right, girls, this is exactly what I don't want. Mermaid. Oh, oh yeah. I love it. We're not having this. Cassie is a diva. <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. She knows what she wants and she won't stop until she gets it. This is it. Fairy tale. Love this. Yeah, I think everyone's expecting me to wear something fitted and mermaid style, whereas I want to do something completely different. I want to be a princess. I don't want to be sexy all the time. Some brides want to break out of their regular look and really wow the crowd by picking something different and unexpected. Bravo to you. Right, first of all, who's the bride? Me. So tell me a bit about who you've got with you so here today. So today I've brought my mum, Fern, my sister, my Hi. chief bridesmaid, and Melissa, my maid of honour, my best friend. Hello. Hello. I think everybody's expecting me to wear fishtail. What do you want? I want princess. You I want, want fairy princess. tail, big. I wouldn't like to see Cassie in a big meringue type dress. I really don't think it will suit her. I'm getting married in Barcelona. The venue's called La Garriga. Gagariga. <laughs> <laughs> La Garriga de Castelladral. La Garriga de Castelladral. It's a farmhouse, it's beautiful, it's in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by green and nature. It's perfect. The theme is Enchanted Forest. I'm obsessed with twilight. Bit vampy. 
Definitely. I'm thinking red lips and a black choker. I'm not too sure about this look for a wedding. Everyone is going to be totally shocked. Tell me a bit about your lovely man. He just thinks I look good in anything. My fiance's name is Andrew Roylance. We've been together for eight years and we met in a nightclub. He's just such a loving person, kind, loyal and generous. So ladies, what do you think in regards to sort of like say princess? I prefer fish towel. It's very important to say that my entourage love what I'm going to choose. However, if they don't, it's not the end of the world. I'll still go with what I want. Could you be swayed to a princess? If I don't like the style of dress she tries on, I will be very opinionated. What would be your budget for the dress? My dad's paying for the dress. He said around 2000 but I might be able to push. She looks at Mum. <laughs> <laughs> if she picks a dress I really don't like, then she's not having that dress. I'm going to send you off to the fit room. Great, let's go. <laughs> Cassie's a bride that knows what she wants, so she's insisting on trying on the first dress she saw on the rail. I really like this dress. I love the top and the detail. It so fits with the Enchanted Forest theme. I feel amazing in this dress. I love it a bit. So I hope my entourage does. Oh, my oh. Lord. Here she comes. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Cassie. Look at you. Oh, it's beautiful. What do you think, girls? I really like I'm it. I'm surprised how much I like it, actually. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Andy would like it? I don't really care. I think it <laughs> does. Like it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's not what people would expect you to be. Yeah. In. Well, that's what I want. I want the unexpected. I'm really surprised with Melissa and Fern that they really like this dress. I've seems to have changed their mind. You're not a fan? I'm not a fan, no. OK. Mum, I love this dress. Yeah. I don't like it. All right, OK. <laughs> Oh, I love it. If Cassie chose this dress, I would be devastated. I don't like the flowers, the leaves. It doesn't emphasise the shape. I think it will ruin the day if she's not wearing the dress that I like. I'm still waiting to see her in the mermaid dress. Oh, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try mermaid. We'll try. For you, Mum. Right. Time to change. I always wear fitted things, so I want something different. Different? Yeah. I'm not loving it. OK, it flatters my figure, but it's just not for me. What happens if she really, really wants you to get this one? It's not for me. Good luck to us all. <gasps> oh, my lord. Wow, wow, wow. I love this dress. She looks amazing. So, Mum, this is the dress of your dreams? This is the dress? No, it's not. My mum loves this dress. I don't like it at all. I'm really worried that me and my mum are not going to see eye to eye. It really suits your figure. OK. This is not the one. Well, then maybe you need to try on some more. Look, huge conflict between what you want and what you want. Okay. Everyone's expecting me to wear right. fishtail fitted. You I, don't want I a fishtail. I don't want fishtail. It's right. not going to happen. Right, it's between you two. I'm yes. not going to go for a fishtail, mum. Are you willing to compromise? Then you need to convince me. And was you not convinced by the other? No. I didn't like it one bit. I'm not very happy when a bride and her mother goes head to head, but you know what? It's the bride's day, so they should stick to their guns. It's your day, it's your gown, it's all about you. I know. Somehow we've got to convince your mother. Mum's hijacked the appointment. She's demanding almost the opposite of Cassie's dress taste. If she doesn't agree, then I'm still going to stick to what I want. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Cassie wants the unexpected, and after all, it is her day. First thoughts. It's very fairy tale. It's beautiful. I love it. It fits with my theme. It's enchanted. It's fairy tale like. I just feel amazing. Do you think this could be the dress that wins her over? I'm hoping so. Yeah. I'm hoping. If my mum hates this dress, I'm going to be really upset. However, I'm just going to stick to what I want. Oh. Wow. I love this dress. It's just so fairy tale, enchanted, and it's just so romantic. Are we convinced, you, Mum? Um, I'm quite shocked, actually. I'm sort of swaying a little. <laughs> right. You do actually look beautiful. Ah. <laughs> what do you think, girls? I love it. Do you? Yeah, I love all the sequins, everything. 
and you can still see her figure within this dress. I think that's what's swaying me. Yes. I'm really happy. <laughs> yes! I'm shocked. I can't believe that I actually like this dress, as it's really, really full and princess-like, but she looks adorable. What's yeah. the price on this dress? What's the price, I mean? 1,752. So it's in Go budget. In budget. I'm absolutely ecstatic that we found a dress we both agree on. Oh, oh Cassie. Look Look like the, a proper yeah. bride. Now, oh. is this the dress of your dreams? And this is what I wanted. And I'm really pleased that Mum likes it. I adore it. Ah! Maybe add a little bit of edge to it, vamping it up. I've got, actually, a choker. My Twilight Bride wants an edge. But with her mum finally on our side, Let's hope this choker doesn't choke her and she likes the vampy look. I think that makes it. Mum, I feel amazing. You look amazing. I'm quite surprised with the choker, the vampy look. She looks brilliant. I love it. Cassie, are you going to say yes to this dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> My name's Harriet, I'm 24. Yeah, the top's pretty. What do you think? What do you want? What's number one? Well, I think you need to be comfortable. Me and my mum are really close. We always have been. I tell her everything, bar the things that you shouldn't ever tell your mum. And you want buttons rather than corsets? Buttons rather than corset, definitely. She'll probably be the most vocal because she cares the most, I would imagine, and she wants it to be perfect. I think that would suit you. Well, anything would suit you, but... <laughs> Thank you. She's my eldest daughter, so this is the first time I've had the experience of being the mother of the bride and trying to support my daughter to make an amazing choice. Hi, ladies. Hi. 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 Who's my bride? Hi. 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 Nice Hi. to meet Hi. you, Harriet. Who have you got with you today, Harriet? I brought with me today my mother, because she wouldn't forgive me if I went wedding dress shopping without her, and I really value her opinion. That's sister. my... Oh. Charlotte. Charlotte, sister. sister. Rachel. Rachel. Um, Sister-in-law to be. Lovely to meet you, Rachel. <laughs> and Michelle. Michelle. Lovely. Uh, best friend from Scotland. Oh, lovely. What a lovely group. Tell me a little bit about your fiancé. My fiancé's name is Steve, and we met in Germany oh. two and a half years ago. We were you just on holiday there? We or? went out there to ski over New Year. We spent a week um, hanging out and getting to know each other, and it sounds really corny, but I knew we were... That was it. I was... That was him. Just kind of did, and it sounds so vomit-worthy. But it's true. He's the most amazing person I've ever met, as soppy as it sounds. And he's great. He's all right, you know. <laughs> Sorry. So, tell me, when's your wedding? Summer next year. I'm getting married in the church that I was christened in, that I went, grew up going to. It's kind of pretty much opposite my parents' house. And then the venue for the reception is a manor house that's been turned into an art gallery. What, have you had any idea of sort of dress that you'd like to wear, like how you'd like to look on the day? I think so, I do. I want it to be quite classic, elegant, traditional, and I think I'm pretty sure I want a relatively slim silhouette. Definitely some sort of sleeves. So how important is it to you that your mum loves your dress? What she thinks is is really important. I just have this great belief that we will we will have a gut feeling. I trust her opinion a lot, but essentially, actually, it's got to be my decision. Do we have a budget that we want to stick to? Probably no higher than about 2,000, 2,500. Harriet, you're off to the dressing room and I'm going to get shopping. OK. Harriet's looking for something slim fitted with sleeves. And I think for a church wedding, a classic lace gown would be perfect. And be sure to please mum. What do you think? I love the sleeves. The sleeves are beautiful. They're really stunning. And I love the keyhole back. I think that's really nice. I like the wow factor of this dress. I do feel pretty. I feel like all eyes would be on me. But it isn't right. I like the top, but I don't know... I don't know if it's a bit too high, a bit too covered. Do you spin you around? Yeah. <laughs> I do think you look lovely. That bit of cover has given you confidence. It looks very elegant the top. I think this dress is beautiful. Ladies, what do we think? It's quite old-fashioned. You're too young for it. I'm not, not a fan. 
But I just think it's just maybe too much material. Yeah, that makes sense. I think sleeves with the lower neck would be a good balance, yeah. or shorter sleeves and higher neck maybe. But I think it is. I think it's a bit too, a bit too prim and proper. <laughs> Mums often prefer the more classic styles, but if these two are going to agree on a dress, she's going to have to embrace a more youthful look. So we've got this one to try next, which is completely different, it's completely strapless, and it's got a really nice sweetheart neck. Harriet's also very keen to get her mum's approval on the dress, and she certainly got it with dress number one. But Harriet found the high neckline rather matronly. So we're going to move on to a similar style that's more open on top. What do you think your mum will think of this dress? I wonder what she'll think about the plunging bit. Although it's covered, I wonder if she'll have something... I think she'll have something to say about that. What do you think? I really like the top, the sweetheart neckline. It's a lot less prim and proper than the other one. It's a lot more showstoppery, wowy. Ladies, what do we think of this dress? I think that's too open. Told you. <laughs> we did say. <laughs> we did say Mum's not going to improve with the top. I think that when Harriet walks into church, the focus will not be on Harriet's radiant face. I can't stop staring at your boobs, is it? <laughs> and that's not the, what you want people to say on your wedding day. I just don't think it's very you. Not the one. So I think we've gone too far in the other direction with this one. Back to the dressing room. I'm going to pull some more options for us. Hello. Hello. Harriet and her mother are both going to love this next dress, I think. Long sleeves plus a sweetheart neckline make it the perfect combination of both their styles. How are you feeling? Um, I'm quite tired. I think it's quite a lot to take on and a lot to do, but I, want, I like this, I really like this dress is beautiful and I want to see what they think. Oh, that's pretty. Aww. Should we turn you around to see what your friends and family think? It's so much better than all the rest. Yeah. I think it's just beautiful. I, I'm like 99% love it, which is really high. <laughs> I think my mum is holding back from saying how much she loves it because she wants to know that I do first. How are you feeling? I look more like a bride with a veil. <laughs> I do look more like a bride, and that's kind of scary in a good way. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. She looks amazing. She looks so gorgeous. Love it. So how do you feel in this dress, Harriet? I feel lovely in it. It is a beautiful dress. So, can I ask you the question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How really are you? Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, it's a lot to take in. I think I need to step back from it before I commit. I wanted to grab her and hug her and give her a glass of water and say, it's fine, it really is fine. I think you're overwhelmed. I think you are. I think we're all overwhelmed <laughs> because we, we are so close and we might be there, but we are potentially gowned out. I'm really happy and I really love it. But there is that still. I'm, I don't have the gut reaction. I don't have the, you are 100% meant to be with this dress. So if you're not getting that feeling, then that's absolutely fine. So go away and, and have a think about everything. Yeah, I think so. My name's Coco, I'm 23. Look at the lace on this one. I've looked through a few dress shops, but I've been quite indecisive because it's a difficult decision to make because it's got to be the dress and it's got to be perfect. You know what you're looking for, Coco. I think I'd like something lacy and also a bit sparkly as well. 
Look at this one here. That is like a real princess <laughs> dress. <laughs> Ladies, good morning. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Hi, my name's Kim. And who's the lovely bride? So, I'm the bride. Your name is? My name's Coco. And who are these lovely ladies with you today? This is my mum. This is my younger sister, Scarlett. Hello. My best friend, Ellie. <laughs> and this is my sister. This is also my maid of honour. My older sister and my younger sister, they've both got different fashion sense, so I think they're going to be more likely to disagree with what I like. When are you getting married? So I'm getting married next year in okay. October. It's going to be in Ibiza. We haven't told any of our guests the location because we want to keep it a secret. The reason we've chosen to get married in Ibiza is because that is where we met. Um, and ever since we met there, we've been going back every single year, sometimes twice a year. And what's your fiancé's name? My fiancé's called Billy. He is a roofer. He's very handsome, very muscly, and he's got a lovely personality. He's very kind and very sweet. And what sort of shape are, are, have you got in your mind? I think I'd like something quite fitted that okay. also sort of has a bit of volume at the bottom. It's going to be quite sexy as well as mm -hmm. pretty. OK. So, ladies, what would you like to see Coco in? I have always thought she would probably be a princess. We always thought we'd see Coco in a princess dress, something big. And is there a budget that I'm to be respectful of today? Yeah, so my budget is probably going to be about £2,000. I'll pull some gowns for you. OK, lovely. And if your lovely guests would like to take a seat... Coco's sisters and mum may favour the ball gown, but we have to do right by our bride. So Kim is starting with the mermaid style that Coco loves. What are your initial thoughts on this lovely gown? I'm really liking the top on this one. And I like the neckline here. It gives me a bit more of a bust. How are you feeling, Coco? It's different. It's not what I had in mind. It's nearly there, but I'm not sure about the bottom. This dress is the right sort of style, but I really don't like the seaweedy bottom. It's just not what I'm after at all. I don't like this one. You don't like this one? No. We have seen you in the same style dresses. Most of them are, you're trying on are mermaid dresses, and we all pictured you in a princess dress. Just change it up just for you as well, so you can see. OK. This clearly is a beautiful dress, but it's not your dress. I don't feel like it's the one. OK. Coco has been craving a figure-hugging gown, but at Big Sister's request, is trying on the princess style that her family's been wishing to see. And how do you feel about your, your guests feeling that they'd like to see you in a different shape? Um, I'm a bit nervous, actually, because I haven't tried a princess on before. How are you feeling? Like a princess. I do think it's beautiful, actually. The dress is... It's different. I quite like this as well, the way it layers. And this is very unique with the, the feathers here. I feel good in this dress. Ladies, what do we think? I like this one. It is a beautiful dress. I do really like it, but I didn't particularly like the layering. You know, me and you have completely different tastes. Mm, that's the problem. <laughs> I'd like to just see in something simple. But I'm not simple. Do you think this is now the shape that you should be looking at? I would still like to try a couple more in the other style. I think that would help me make my decision. Coco's sister poo-poos the mermaid, then she poo-poos the ball gown, and now she wants simple. Sister can flip up all she wants. This isn't her wedding. So Kim is selecting a gown that's sure to please our bride. And what about your one of your sisters? Yeah, I think yeah. she needs to realise that it's my dress, not hers. Bravo to Kim for recognise what our bride wants. Perhaps this fitted little number is the one to unite this sisterhood. How do we feel? So this is, I think, my favourite one that we've tried. I love all the lace. I think the bottom is absolutely beautiful. When I say fishtail, this is what I want, because it goes out. It's not drastic like the other ones. This dress, it's different to the previous mermaid gown. It's more what I'm after. I do like this dress. She looks stunning. What do you feel? I really like it. It's my favourite. It's everything you've, I think that you've wanted in the dress. 
Make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> make me cry. I can see that my family are really happy about this dress. I may have found the right dress. I love the veil, I think it's beautiful. The veil completes it all. It's, I can definitely see her walking down the aisle in that dress. It's so her. What's the price on the designer of this one? So this is a dress by Ronald Joyce and the price is 1804. Yeah, so it is, it is in price, which is, yeah, it's perfect. And the most important question of all, are you saying yes to this dress? I am saying yes to the dress. <laughs> My little sister did make the She right proved choice. you wrong. She proved me wrong. I love it. Yeah. I honestly didn't think I'd find the perfect dress today along the way and sort of maybe even lost my way as to what I wanted. And then we finally got there, so I'm quite pleased. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of time to find Jennifer's perfect dress, but Jennifer's sister's tuned into something very key here. She just wants her fiance to think she looks hot. So we're putting her in a backless gown to see if we can get her closer to her dream dress. Okay, so very different this time, Jen. How do you feel? I feel sexy. I really like the way it hugs my hips. I like the back. The back is stunning. I'm not sure about... I did, yeah, I'm not sure about there. I agree with you about the straps. Can you make one of the straps yeah. smaller? I prefer them like that. You prefer them thinner? Like thinner, yeah. 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 I think once it's altered, it actually would look really, really nice once it fits you perfectly. I love the shape of it. I feel really sexy. I love this one. It, it's perfect. I can't believe you just said it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the lady that has found something wrong with every gown. <laughs> Zoe's found Jennifer a dress that will wow her fiancé. But in order to seal the deal, she'll need her sister's approval. I feel happy, actually. Good. I feel right. She's kind. Stop it. <laughs> we need some tissues. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine her walking down the aisle in this dress and I'm glad that she's happy. Oh, my God! <laughs> my name's Laura Bramhall. I'm 33. I want a wedding dress that looks amazing with a leather jacket chucked over the top, scruffy hair, bright pink lipstick, and just looks like rock and roll. I like that, Laura. I do like that. I brought with me today my mum and my two best friends, Sarah and Katie. I different. like how different that is. I think that is beautiful, Laura. No, I think you're going to look like a fairy. A fairy? Yeah. Katie will say what she thinks. Not that one, because that just looks like vaginas. <laughs> Katie! <laughs> how can you not see that on it? It does. There's still, there are silhouettes of vaginas on Could that I dress. Just it wasn't very tidy. You don't have to call it a Nobody would have understood what I meant, though. You have to say the word vagina, otherwise you just don't see you don't it. You have to keep saying vagina. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, hi, I'm David Emanuel. Hello, hello. hi, nice to meet please. You. Katie. Katie. Yeah. And I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. So you're the bride. Yes. I am, yeah. Pleased to meet you, Laura. Hi. What sort of thing are you looking for? It's church wedding Lovely. with a really extravagant reception afterwards. Wonderful. Lots of sparkle. Oh, sparkle. So we're not thinking Love. traditional, traditional. You want mm -hmm. something a bit more. Something a bit edgy. Edgy. Something that I could wear a leather jacket with. Oh. That's what I'm after. I live in my leather jacket. I've always got dark eyes, I've got jet black hair, and I want something that can rock that look with a leather jacket on. Are you actually going to walk down the aisle with a black leather jacket? Not down the aisle, but you no know, night time having a drink outside. Oh, I see. Only at yeah. night. If she weren't in the church, that'd be a big no-no. <laughs> yeah, if she walked down the aisle wearing a leather jacket, I think I'd have something to say, yeah. Tell me a bit about your lovely man. Nathan, he's into indie music. We both love... Britpop, Indie. My fiancé's name is Nathan Humphreys. We've been together five years. He's the most lovable, caring guy I've ever met. He is my soulmate. Budget. I don't want to go above two and a half. Danny, we've got the budget. Yes. Laura's wedding vision is edgy, but she also wants some glam. So I think the play between hard and soft, leather and tulle in a non-traditional colour could be the perfect mix. This reminds me of an old Dior dress. It looks very couture. I love that. Now you said that, I'm definitely wanting to try it on. <laughs> <laughs> one word. Couture. No, it, it, this is a beautiful dress. And this one? Let's take that one as well. Yeah. Come, let's go. <laughs> Off to the dressing room. After you. This is 
such a gorgeous dress. It is stunning, isn't it? I like this dress. I love the sparkle and I love the colour. I think it suits me. Oh, my goodness me. <gasps> wow. Laura, this is glamour. How do you feel? I love the colour. I think it just really suits my skin and my hair. I love the sparkle. I love the detail and the flowers that are embellished in the top of the dress. I could imagine this with a leather jacket. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's rock and roll. What do you guys think? It needs to be pulled up a little yeah. bit. There's a lot of uh, cleavage going There's on. There's a on this lot one. of yeah. cleavage, yeah. yeah. It is low. I'm just mindful it's a church wedding. I knew my mum wouldn't like it. I knew she'd say straight away, you've got too much cleavage. I think okay. if I was like 21, yeah, but 33 years old, I don't want my cleavage hanging out. This is not the dress. Good start then, right? Yeah. Fantastic yeah. start. Let's go. What dress do you think you'd like to try on next? I'd like to think I'd like to try on the fishtail one next, because that's really, really different to this one. Our leather jacket Laura loved the first dress, but it was a bit too revealing on top. We're going to put her into something more fitted to show off those rocking curves. Wow. I love the shape it gives me. You've definitely got the figure in this. This dress, wow. Oh, my God. I just feel so feminine and sexy in this dress. Oh. Oh, Laura. <laughs> How do you feel in this one? I feel like it gives me a really good womanly hourglass shape, and that's what I wanted. Laura Laura's looks looking fabulous. Hot. Yeah. Hot yeah. and sexy and glamorous. Yeah. It shows your figure off beautifully. It makes me feel like sexy, but I don't want to feel sexy on my wedding day. You can look sexy at a dinner, a gala dinner, yeah. but you'll only have one wedding day that you can wear the dress of your dreams. Yeah. Even though I love this dress and how I look at it. Lovely dress. Not quite right. No. It's not what I want to look like on my wedding day. Back to the dressing room. So we've established that you're liking ball gowns. Rock chick Laura learned that wearing a fitted fishtail may be a bit too hot and sexy for a church wedding. We're going for something unique with the sparkle she seeks. I just hope it looks good with a leather jacket. What are you thinking? I love this. This is amazing. It's incredible. I love it. It's quite unusual, which is something you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah, it's completely different. Do you think the bridesmaids would like this? I don't know. You know, if they don't like it, it's going to upset me because I really like this dress. I really 100% want them to love this dress. Here comes the bride. Wow. <gasps> oh, my lord. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel, darling? How do you feel? I think this dress is amazing. I absolutely love the floral detailing on it. And it's so different to anything I've ever seen before. I love that it's not your traditional bridal dress, yet still it's very classic, very elegant. Do you feel like a bride? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, I do, yeah. What do you think? I want you to be honest. I really want you to be honest. You know I would not lie to you. Amazing. That is you. Do you think? That is you personified. It's so different, and different is you. So, yeah, I love it. Come on, then. <laughs> Give it to me. Come on. <laughs> I may have to retract my fairy comment, because I think that looks amazing. I am so pleased that they all love this dress. I couldn't be any happier right now. I've never put a leather jacket on a bride before. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Spin round. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, absolutely yeah. super. It's kind of a rock chick meets yeah. couture. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the evening look. This is your day look. OK. I now finally get to answer the question. Are you going to say yes to this dress? Yes! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so pretty. Yeah. Tell you. I'm Katie, I'm 22 from Southport. I'm not a complete tomboy, but dressings and heels definitely aren't my thing on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Oh God, look at all these sequins. I cannot see you in that. I hate that. I kind of want to take the opportunity for my wedding to sort of give people a shock factor and see something different, different side of me that they've not seen before. Hello, Katie, welcome, I'm Zoe. I'm oh, going nice to help to you, you today. Who have you brought with you? Oh, so I brought my mum, Veronica. Hiya. Hello. I brought my best friend, Ellen. Hello. Nice to meet you. And I brought my mother-in-law to be Jane. Hiya. Excellent. So what is it that you're looking for, really? I want to try some tea length dress on. We're just having a look at a few behind me. She knows what I want, don't you? <laughs> I want a gorgeous white dress. <laughs> really? No. I'd like to see Katie in something lacy and traditional, but she never agrees on my fashion style. So tell me a little bit about your wedding then, Katie. Having sort of like a carnival fairground theme wedding. Wow. wow. It's going to be festival themed, so sort of like carnival fairground themed. My nan and my dad both owned cafes on the fairground when I was younger. I'm trying to carry that theme on. OK, it sounds like a lot of fun. And about your fiancé, does he know about the carnival theme? Or? Yeah, he thinks, likes to think it's his idea, but it wasn't. <laughs> my fiancé's name is Danny. We met working in a part-time restaurant when we were younger and um, been together ever since. Danny proposed to me when we were in London while he did the London Marathon this year. We went for a walk in Hyde Park the day before and he asked me to marry him, which was like a huge surprise. Uh, but a very pleasant surprise. And how much are you looking to spend on your dress today? I'm looking to stick around the thousand pound budget and um, willing to go a little bit higher, maybe. And who's going to be paying for your gown today? Um, well, my nan's left me some money in her will for me to pay for my dress. Um, oh. So that's where my money's coming from. Okay, so nan's not with us, unfortunately, now. All right. So me and my nan were really close. Um, she couldn't wait for me to get married. She passed away this year. It's a nice way for her to be there during the day. I'm a big fan of Tealand skirts. They fall just below the knee and have a retro Hollywood feel. Zoe's challenge is to find one which makes Katie look fun and different, but is traditional enough for mum. OK, so Katie, big smile. What are you <laughs> thinking? I really like the freedom. I feel like I can move. <laughs> How do you feel about the lace on this one? I don't know if it's a little bit too much lace. Yeah, I love every part of it. Every bit of it I love. I do like it because it looks lacy enough. Love the length. I love that the bottom half. I don't like the top half. I just think it's too much lace. I'd agree with Jane. Yeah, the same. I just don't want it. Mum wasn't kidding about loving lace. She can't let it go. But well, I wouldn't mind if we could try something that was a little bit plainer on top. The top half is a little bit too busy, a little bit too fussy. All right, perfect. We're going to go on the hunt for some more dresses. Cool. So would you like to try that one? I love that. Perfect. I mean, beautiful I dress. I love the dress. But Katie's not your traditional bride, is she? I know, but I want it to be. <laughs> you <laughs> might want it. You might want it to be. Although Katie's nan has left her money for the dress, her mum has a big say. She loves lace, but Katie doesn't, so Zoe's picked a simple satin gown. All right, perfect. So how are you feeling with this? I really like it. I think even though it's really simple, it kind of still makes a bit of a statement. I love the way this dress sits on me. It makes me feel confident and free. I feel like simplicity is something that I can play on and I can add some details wherever I need. No, I think I like that one. Hey, Katie, how do you feel? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I give you that? <laughs> when you first put it on, I didn't really feel bridey, but when you added the belt, it just... I just love it now. I think it's perfect. I don't know why I'm getting emotional wearing this dress, but there's just something about it. It's something that's just clicked, and it's just perfect, and it must be right. So, Veronica, what do you think? It's too casual for a bride game. I'm not happy with her. I wish she'd go for a lacy one. Your prom dress, dress is better than that. <laughs> you know. Hearing my mum say that she doesn't love it like I do, it's pretty disappointing. How does that make you feel? It's a bit going. Should I have said that? Really? She can't get married in that. 
Some brides dream of walking down the aisle dressed head to toe as the traditional bride, while others want to create a sensation by daring to be different. I have to say, a special occasion, yeah, but I wouldn't get married. I think you're wrong, but... Katie's mum's dead set against his tea-length dress because it's not lace. So Katie has to decide whether to give in or stand her ground. I like that little sweetheart neckline. I love it. I think it really suits you. I know that my mum doesn't agree. I'm just hoping that maybe we could win around. What you've got to remember, Katie's day, not our day. It's too casual. Well, I'm the only one that doesn't like this, but it doesn't look bridal enough for me. What if we were to put a little bolero with it? Do you think that could make it more bridal for you? Certainly, because I'm the old-fashioned, traditional, lacy thingy. Exactly, <laughs> old-fashioned. <laughs> but could we try a little jacket to see if that could yeah, help her? Of course we can. Along the way. Mum is not budging, so if adding a lace bolero doesn't help, Katie's walking out without a dress. Oh, is it like a...? Yeah, it's across the shoulder. How do you feel with the belt? I think I prefer it without. Without the belt? So, with this on now, how do you feel? I didn't think you could top it, now you've got the lace on there as well. I actually think that Mum could have been right, because I do prefer this now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm totally sold on the dress. I'm just hoping now that Mum's going to agree. So, Veronica. Gorgeous. I love it. I do love it. I have to love it. <laughs> now Zoe's put the lace top on it, it's absolutely perfect. Is it cheaper without the top? Or the... <laughs> 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 the gown itself, on its own, is £190. Get lost. <laughs> and the bolero is actually more than a dress. That comes in at 269. Wow. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Mum loves it. She was right. I can't believe the price of this dress. Now we can spend more money on the wedding. Maybe some extra popcorn or candy floss, maybe. Well, what do you think Nan would think of this dress and bolero combination? I think she'd love it. I think she'd love it. So, do you say yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi. Hello. I'm David Emmanuel. Hello. Hello there. This is Zoe. Hello. Hello. Which one of you is the bride? I am. Oh. It's me. And your name? Becky. 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 And who have you brought with you? This is my sister, Charlotte, and my best friend, Vicky. So where is it all happening? We're going to get married in Italy. Wonderful. Lovely. Because we've got such a large family, it is a bit difficult to find the perfect place and destination. But the one thing I can control is having the perfect dress, so I'm not going to settle for anything less. Any silhouette in mind? I love mermaid dresses. Right. But my fiancé loves ball gowns. Oh. Every girl wants to please her nearest and dearest with her choice of dress. But bride beware, she mustn't lose sight of what she wants. For now, we're starting Becky off in the fishtail silhouette that she wants. Becky, how do you feel in this dress? I really like it. I think it's very flattering. All right, so do you like it enough to go and show the girls? Yeah, definitely. I think they'll like it. Perfect. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Well, we can certainly see your figure in this. I really like it. I think it does suit me very nicely. It's very flattering. And let's see what your entourage say. I don't like it at all. Oh. Why? Mm. It's so plain. It's horrible. I don't actually like the material of it at all, either. I don't like the way it wraps around, it draws attention to your stomach. Did you? I thought that was quite flattering. No. It hides it, but it draws attention to it. Makes your bum look great, darling. No, it's really <laughs> flat. Well, by the time it's I to do. size... So, but she does have quite a flat bum anyway. So... It enhances your hips. You, you've got a great figure. Thank you. So, it's a possible. It might not be the dress. I like it, but Charlotte hates it that much. I don't think I could wear it. But you're the bride. I know. But if she thinks that, then other people might think that too. It's back to the dressing room, OK, darling? Yeah. Becky's ignoring the princess fantasies of her fiancé and pushing forward with the fishtail shape she wants. She's drawn to this more blingy gown on the hanger. Ooh. This is an amazing change. Mm. <laughs> Becky, what are we thinking, darling? 
I absolutely love the top half. Yeah. I wish I could change the lace in the bottom. If that was plain, I think it'd be perfect. I love it. It looks really, really nice. With the plain bottom, I think it'll make a big difference as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. The whole top part is absolutely amazing. Mm. It looks lovely on you. Beautiful embroidery. Yeah. It's more bride and it's more you. Again, same, a little bit tea cosy at the bottom. Not really feeling that bit. We can have it made without the lace on the bottom at all. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah it is. I'm so happy we can completely change the dress and get rid of the lace. My only dilemma now is that you said your fiancé wanted to see you now in more of a ball gown, is that right? Yeah, I think this is his, like, worst nightmare. If I walk down the aisle and he doesn't like it, I think he will tell me, Beck, why did you choose that dress? It's horrible. I need to try on a ball gown dress just for Ian. How are we feeling in this? I love the top half, but I don't think it does me as much justice as the other one. You've always wanted fishtail, so... Well, I'm concerned now, better. because when Becky said, if I turn up in a fishtail, he's going to turn around and go, I hate it. I think he would say that, do you think? Probably, but he's telling me it's your day. Maybe he'll be amazed and he won't say it. This is pretty, but it's not, not you. You looked happier, I think, in the other one. Yeah. Like, you looked more like you. Yeah. Trying on this dress definitely solidifies the fact that a mermaid is the one for me. So we're back to the fishtail. But that's not a sausage down there. You just <laughs> rolled it up to see what it looked like with just a tulle skirt. So much better now. It looks amazing. It looks really, really nice. This dress is absolutely perfect. With the lace pinned up, it looks amazing. Who's the designer? So this gown comes from Madame Bersha, and it does come in at £2,400. Amazing. Should we try a veil? <laughs> It looks amazing. It looks, it looks really, really glamorous as well. Yes. It's really beautiful. But with the veil, and yeah. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. Wearing the veil makes me feel absolutely amazing. I don't see how Ian can't love this dress now. Becky, are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. <laughs> well done, darling. Congratulations. My work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I found a perfect dress. I can't wait to be Mrs Edmonds. I can see myself walking down the aisle in Italy. I just know Ian will absolutely love it now. Hello, ladies. Hi. Who's the bride? I'm the bride. I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you. Nice What's to meet your you. name? Cara. Tell me a bit about your wedding. I'm getting married outside. Our wedding is going to be in the garden area of Greenwood Spa and Resort in Stock. We're going to get a marquee put up and decorate it all magical and whimsical and enchanting. Cara's opened all silhouettes, so Danielle is going to try in a range of different shapes. First up, a classic princess dress. How does this bridal gown make you feel? Like a celebrity bride, like a princess bride. Mm. I think it's got a wow factor. I like all the crystal Crystals. diamante, yeah. No, no. I think that's a wee bit too full for you, actually. I'm a little bit upset that my nana doesn't like how much the dress boofs up. I agree, I love the top, but the skirt's just a bit too puffy. It is lovely, but I haven't had that, like, oh my god. Li them little butterflies. Yeah, it hasn't taken my breath away yet. Let's get you in a dress that does. OK. How do you feel in this number? I like it, but not quite as much now that I've seen the other one on. So you like more of a princess full of skirt? Mum, what do you think? I love the back. The back's stunning. But I think if it fell from here, at the front. Nana. I really like it. You really like this yeah. one? Yeah. My Nana looks really happy with this dress. She makes me feel like I should like it more, but I don't. I think it's too mature. Yeah. I think we need to get you in something bigger. No, like that. <laughs> no! <laughs> just, just imagine David standing beside you with a full skirt. No.
Even though Nana loves it, Car is standing her ground against the fitted dress. Big step, slowly, that's it. Let's hope this whimsical princess A-line that Cara picked for herself can win Nana over and please our bride. I love it. I love the fit. I love the detail. I love that it's different. I love that it still looks bridal. I love it. My name's Kaylee. I'm 24 and I'm from Clacton on Sea. This is like a princess dress. I want the big fairy tale ball gown. I've dreamed of a Disney wedding my whole life. I'm a Cinderella, Little Mermaid. Crazy. Everything's gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to choose. <laughs> There'll definitely be no compromise in my dress whatsoever. Good morning, ladies. How are we all this Hi, morning? Yeah. So introduce me to your entourage today. This is my mum, Debbie. Hello. Oh, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> yeah, my nan, <laughs> Linda. Mm -hmm. And my best friend and bridesmaid, oh, Kelly. Lovely to meet you. So, tell me about your fiancé. What's um, his name? Nigel. OK. Yeah, he's kind, he's loving, he's the best dad to my little boy in the whole world. Me and my fiancé met at work. Not very romantic. I asked him out for a drink, and then we've spent every day together since. Our little boy is seven months old. His name's Blake. He just looks like a bit of um, a Phil Mitchell from EastEnders at the moment, but I just can't wait for him to be a part of the wedding. I'm getting married in a church, and then we're off to Wivenhoe House Hotel. It's going to be quite glamorous. But I'm also going to have a little bit of a Disney element in there. Oh, no, not Disney. Yeah, there's definitely be a Disney princess element to the day. Disney's a really, really big um, part of mine and my fiance's life. It was our last holiday before we had our little boy and life changed. So I'm definitely going to have lots of Disney, lots of pink and lots of pink. I like the ball gowns, lots of sparkle. Kaylee's always from a little girl known that she's wanted a big, big Disney ball gown. I shall give you <laughs> sparkle by the lorry load. Don't you worry <laughs> about <perfect>. that. <laughs> so is there a budget on to be respectful of, darling? It's between 1,200 and 1,500. No problem. I just want a big ball gown, but I don't want to look like a cake topper either. So I just need to find that balance between princess and over the top. <laughs> we have sparkle. Hey, we do. And as you see, it has petite proportions. Yeah. So you're not going to feel overwhelmed okay. by yeah. the ball gown. And that's why I picked this one. That's perfect. Talk about high expectations. Kaylee had a heart set on this princess style dress all her life. No pressure, Kim. So how are you feeling in the dress? I feel pretty. Yeah, I love the top a lot. But I definitely okay. want to show them to see what. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's go. Tell me what you're feeling. I love the sparkle. I love the neckline. Just don't know if it shows off enough of my shape. I feel a little bit wide in it. I do feel like a princess in it, but I just think I've got a shape and I should show it. On the hanger, this dress is my dream dress. It's the princess, everything I thought I wanted. But on, it just isn't doing anything for my figure. Just no. So, Mum, this is the type of dress you wanted to see Kaylee in. What do you think? It's beautiful, but I think Kaylee's got quite a nice shape and mm. doesn't go in at the waist. I don't think this ball gown dress is for Kaylee. I think Kaylee's built up an image of a dress that isn't right for her and she's got to slightly change her views on what she wants. This next dress is still going for the princess flair, but something a little more curve-hugging. How are you feeling in this one? I definitely feel more me in this one. OK, then, let's go. Yeah, I love it. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, I'm sparkling, absolutely love it. But cos I'm petite, I still worry that where it comes down so low that I lose the skirt, mm -hmm. it still makes me look short. It's just too long on my body. I know that it's just going to cut me off. It's just cutting me short. I like the shape and I like the way it comes out. It's nice, not wow. We want wow. I want to get the wow feeling. This is not the dress for her either. I think we're there on shape, but proportionally, this is too long. So let's yeah. go and try another Lovely. one. Thank you. Okay. 
It may take a little time for Kaylee to see beyond her original ball gown vision, but we found the right silhouette. Now, we just need to find the right dress. So, how are we feeling about this one? I think the shape is right. Yeah. Again, I feel like I just want to use the word like. There's no point just liking the dress. I've got to love it. There's no point liking my future husband. I've got to love him too. I think my problem is I have dreamed of my wedding dress and okay. I think I've built up to something that possibly doesn't exist and I'm just not getting my moment. It will be hard to give up the princess dream. I think that's why I'm in the position I'm in now. That I haven't found a dress because my expectations are just too high. I've got a client in there that I feel is about to burst into tears and I don't know what to do at the moment to make it right. I've got to make the next one count. <sighs> the appointment's not going as I'd want it to. You know, I haven't put a smile on this beautiful girl's face. It's not a traditional fish tail, but do you know what? I'm going for it. Kim has to get this appointment back on track. It's all about proportion, so she's going with a bit of a wild card. Here we have a fitted gown. Yeah. Because we have this line of beading, it draws mm -hmm. the eye down. Yeah. And that will put your body more in proportion, darling. Yeah. How are you feeling? It's definitely my favourite one so far. I think we're heading definitely more in the right direction. Good. Are you happy to show your guests? Yeah, I this think I definitely one? want to show them this one because it's something different. I really love the corset of this dress. It really pulls me in and holds my figure. I'm just not sure about the beading, but I definitely think corset works for me. Oh, <laughs> maybe. That's different. So, Kaylee, what are you feeling? It's given a shape. This is definitely my favourite so far. Definitely feel the most shape. Spin round and show your lovely guests. Chink. Anyone wowed yet? Best one so far for your shape. I just don't know if I like the lines. The lines down the front. I'm not yeah. sure if I like where it goes straight. I'm just not getting the feeling and the buzz that I thought I would. Just feel like I've built up this massive thing for my wedding dress and it's I'm just not... It's not happening. This dress is light, it's flowy, and the shape is 100% what we think Kaylee should be wearing, but it's just not quite there. <laughs> you, look dis you look disappointed. <laughs> it was a Disney princess dress, wasn't it? And you've yeah. decided that's not right for you. Don't cry. <laughs> oh. I was just overwhelmed. My wedding day is so important. I've dreamed of it my whole life, and the dress is, like, number one on that list. That's why I got tearful, cos I need to find the right dress. I've got no butterflies. No, yeah. it's a bit no, butterflies. We... But I did get a smile with this one, so yeah. I feel a bit better. <laughs> yeah, I did smile. I'm feeling like I'm in the right direction. I just mm -hmm. need to just go back and reassess things. But yeah, I've definitely found the shape. I need to stay away, I think, from the ball gown and keep to the fitted. Well, <laughs> I'll be happy to see you back, darling. Yeah. And we can try on some more, no okay. problem. Kim's been fantastic. Now, I am closer to finding my perfect dress. Also, the more I'm in the dress, the more I'm warming to it. Who's the bride? Me! No. You! Me! We! You! We. Right, I'm no, Josie. Josie, I'm Danielle. Nice I'm to meet you. She's my little sister. sister. So Probably. when you mean we... She thinks this is her wedding. Are you married? to be married? No. Yes, because we're getting married. No. It's your wedding, so technically it's not yours. No. That's still to be argued. <laughs> but introduce <laughs> me to the other ladies. So this is Jamila. Hi. Hello, nice, nice to meet you. My sister-in-law, Hayley. Hello. Tell me about your wedding. We're doing two weddings, but uh, we're going to have a traditional Nigerian wedding. There's going to be about 400 people in that one, and then we're going to have a church wedding. We want it to be an elegant experience in a beautiful location. So tell me about your fiancé. My fiancé is James Littick. Um, we met <laughs> when we were 17. So your sweetheart? Yes. We've been in each other's lives ever since. He's just the perfect guy for me. He's everything that I ever wanted in a man. So tell me what you have in mind for a dream dress. I just want something that makes me feel like I'm floating. Right. I want to feel regal. I don't like strapless dresses. Oh, yeah. I don't like this area of my arms. James wants to see me in a princess dress. She has such a good figure. She needs to show it. If I wear a tight dress and James doesn't like it, he will tell me. Wait, if I approve, he has to approve. <laughs> my sister-in-law, Hayley, she's brutally honest. So her and my sister together is going to be a bit daunting. Princess or fishtail? Yeah. If it looks good and it makes my jaw drop, then I'm fine. 
What's your budget for the gown? My budget is 2000 I'm going to send you off to the fitting room Yay. and entourage if you'd like to go take a seat. Okay. Off you go, ladies. Good luck. <laughs> I've got to find a dress that's going to suit the bride, her sister, and James, the fiance. OMG! <laughs> I'm choosing three different silhouettes. One I want to get you in first is that one. Princess. Yes. So I think so James will true, be. Yeah. James. OK, let's do this. Let's talk about Sister Joyce. She's really helpful, but she's also like a bit of a nightmare. Right. Okay. She needs to like everything. What are you liking about this dress? I love the straps and the lace and the minimal bling, but there's a lot of dress. It's like a cone. A cone? But the bottom just looks... Oh. Do I like it? No, I like the top of the dress with the lace here. It's not us. Is it because you can't see yourself in it either? I just can't see me and her wearing it. <laughs> there's physically no dress for us both to wear it. Well, I can actually fit in it, though, so <laughs> I don't want to rule out the princess style just yet. This princess dress is everything I feel like James would want to see me in, but I'm just not feeling it at all. If we can find a nice medium, that would be great. Not as big, yeah, but does feel like the princess. Feels us. Yes. Oh, yes! You're getting it. So, how do you feel that went? Got slated. <laughs> Joyce certainly didn't like it. She had nothing good to say about it. The ball gun that her fiancé was sure to love is too big for Josie and looks more like a curtain to her sister. Dive in for me. So Danielle is trying the sister's pick next, a fitted mermaid-style gown. What are you thinking? I love this. In terms of shape, I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. So, how do you feel in this number? Now we're getting there. I love all this pretty lace bling. I do love the back. The back's gorgeous. I think we need to see what your sister thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you love it? Because it fits her body. Look how she has such a good figure. I absolutely love this dress. It has everything I wanted in a dress. And I think we are going to say yes to this dress. I don't like it. I don't like the design at the top. I don't like the straps. I just don't like it. The back is absolutely beautiful. No, do you know what? The back is so simple. I feel like there could be so much more. When Hayley says she hated the dress, I'm really worried about her style. The more I'm looking at it, I think maybe the colour is possibly part of the reason. It makes me feel glamorous. I feel gorgeous in it. But I'm not getting that feeling. I don't like this fish tail. I don't like the colour. Now you change your mind. You liked it before. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. James wouldn't like that. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't like this. I don't like it at all. Hayley does not like this dress. She thinks James wouldn't like this dress as well. I'm not sure I like this dress anymore. Now I'm the sister. I do think whatever I say should actually go. But it's what we want. It's frustrating that Joyce doesn't agree with me. I feel like she doesn't see my face in it. She doesn't see that I'm not happy. This is not it. No in the slightest. So, Joyce, even though she loved you in that dress yeah. and you said that you didn't like it, yeah. bit of a compromise? I think we can push her into you compromising. Danielle's hope in this next drop waist gown will end this sisterly squabble and, most importantly, wow our bride. How do you feel in this one? I love this. It's gorgeous, it's glowing, it shows my shape. My entourage has been so hard to please, particularly Hayley and Joy, so I'm just getting my fingers crossed. I hope they love it. I'm excited. <gasps> right, how do you feel in this one? This dress is stunning. It's sparkly, takes in my waist, but then poofs out. It's just gorgeous. Oh, that's been your round. Oh. <laughs> this dress, it shows off your figure. you still got the bit that comes out, but it's just not too much. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Give me a shimmy. <laughs> Woo! Right, everyone's loving this dress. Joyce! If Joyce doesn't like this dress, I might just quit. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start again. I actually love it. <laughs> Do you know why? It just stands out. She was so amazing. It has the fitted, just the way I liked it, and it has the little ball gown at the bottom, just the way James and Hayley wants it. We love it. I love it. We love it. I love it. <laughs> Joyce loves this. Josie loves this. 
you think James is gonna love this? <laughs> he can't not love it. I mean, I am quite reserved because the arms are still a bit bare and I still feel a bit exposed. Right. Let me go and get something for you to address the sleeve situation. As much as I love this dress, it's still strapless and that's one thing I didn't want in a dress. Yes, oh, great. Wow. I want you to see this. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. I want to scream. <laughs> How much is this dress? Two thousand five hundred and ninety-nine. Right. Hearing Danny say the price of this dress, my heart literally sunk. I can't go over my budget. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. There is no budget when it comes to beauty. Come on. Josie, are you OK with price? Yes, I love this feeling I'm getting, and there shouldn't be a budget to this kind of feeling, so... Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! Oh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, no, it's the perfect dress. You can't put budget on perfection. Oh, wow. wow. Like all oh. them. I'm Alice Miller. I'm from Series 5. I'm 25 years old. That'd be nice on you. I think it'd be nicer on you. You could be like twins and you could wear the same dresses. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Katie. I am 24 years old. I am from Cooper in Fife in Scotland. We're here today because we're best friends, so <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to come and do the dress shopping together. So who would have thought these two would be out together? Oh, that's cute. There's no better time than a bride's big day to call in her BFF for support. Hello, hi, I'm David Emanuel. Hi. 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 God, there's so many people. Who's who? <laughs> who who's the you're I'm a bride? Katie, yes. You're Katie. Yes. Hi. And I'm Alice. Hello, Hello, Katie. Nice to meet you. And you're Alice. I'm you're Alice. another bride. That's it. I usually see one bride. Why have we got two brides? Well, <laughs> we're best friends. We've known each other for a long, long time. Right. We went to nursery together, school together. Um, we met our boyfriends at the same time. We got engaged in the same year. Oh, but you, you're, you're marrying different chaps. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> What, what are you thinking? Like Katie and my family think I should definitely try like short dresses on. Oh, because I'm outside. going a bit different and wearing trainers with my um... trainers. You mean trainers in footwear? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> nice white ones though. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it all happening? Uh, in St Andrews in a oh, walled garden. Just really chilled and laid back and hopefully a good time. What yes. sort of price point are we looking at? Top budget would be about two thousand, I think. That's good. Now for the trainer girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to about 1,800. 1,800, OK. What month are you getting married? I'm getting married in August. August, and when are you? July. So we've got 12 days apart between the weddings. 12 days apart? Yeah, 12 days. Cheapers. Well, who's oh. going to go first? Maybe you should go for Katie so it's less of a headache. You can, like, build up to the trainer situation. Oh, <laughs> right. So I'd go into therapy. Silly. Yeah. <laughs> so how come you're wearing trainers for the wedding? It's an outdoor wedding, so... It means so, you go play football at some point and run about football fun. Football in your wedding dress? Never know what happens, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we pop your trainers on go see what they all think of yeah, you? Yep. Right. yep. Come on, then. <laughs> She's coming. Ooh. Oh, look. I keep it. What are you thinking, darling? No. <laughs> no. But the trainers look good. <laughs> <laughs> just feel like puffy and yucky and not special. Yeah, it's not for me. <laughs> I put this on to please Katie, so. <laughs> so. So, Katie, how do you feel your best friend in her first try on? What, what are you thinking? It's really nice to see her in something that's a bit out of your comfort zone. I would be intrigued to see it longer and less full. Yeah. I thought that a short dress would work really well for her venue, but there's something not quite right, and I can tell that this is not the dress that Alice is going to go for. I love the neckline. I think it's really pretty, but I really hope you go for long. <laughs> Alice is probably not the most confident person, and Katie has been amazing getting her to try dresses on out of her comfort zone. But I'm just not sure it's working with the trainers. Right, Alice, I think it's time to get you into the next dress. Longer. These trainers will be the death of me. I need them out of my sight. But how do you feel about that one? Oh, that's really nice. Oh, and there's, like, a corset back as well, So I can pull you right in so we can see your shape. You're skinny for once. <laughs> <laughs> this time out, we're going for a more traditional, longer dress that will hide those fearful trainers and give her more confidence. 
Are you happy to show your entourage in this dress? Yeah, I can't wait to show them. They're going to love it. Come on in, let's go. Go! Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm looking at a very different girl now. Alice, tell me, tell me straight away, what do you think? I love it. It's really nice. I love, like, the detail. I feel a lot more bridey. I think you look stunning. Yeah, I'm lost for words at the moment. It's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> this one's really, really nice. I love it. The back is perfect, just cut just nicely. Really, really flattering as well. Have you got your sneakers on underneath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still are. <laughs> so spin you around because I want to know what everybody else thinks. I think you look gorgeous. I like it when it's a bit more fitted. Yeah, that's I what I prefer as well. More. Alice looks as though she really loves this dress. And gosh, I'm getting emotional now because she looks really confident and she just hadn't been. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> bless. I think you look much happier in this. Yeah, I am a lot happier in it. Uh, Rosie's crying, yes. so <laughs> it's obviously a good, a good thing. <laughs> I think we've got all the criteria now. Do you see yourself in it? No, I do really like it, but I think I still want to keep on searching and trying others out of my comfort zone. Back to the dressing room. I can't wait to see what's up next. Right, you might be shocked about this one. It's completely different. It is. No lace. We've got the sparkle. Yeah. It has got pockets. Yes. <laughs> Dog treats can go in there. <laughs> Alice's confidence has been growing through the day, so we thought we'd try her with this very different look. How do you feel? It's totally different. Let's go yeah. show them what it's Come like. On <laughs> <laughs> Alice, what are we thinking? I would never, ever have picked this out, but I actually really, really like it, and it's so comfortable on as well. Oh, wow. I can't believe that she's in a dress that just looks so sophisticated and just so beautiful. They've all been really nice, and this is completely different again. It's because I've gone up my comfort zone for once in my life. That's good, though. I think I you know. need to do that to find out what you like. But I think the crisscrossy element really makes your waist accentuated. Yeah, yeah. And you love the pockets, so thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got sneakers and pockets. Yeah. yeah. She is oozing confidence. She has her hands in these pockets, which she's loving. It's pretty much looking like Alice is going to say yes to this dress. You look comfortable yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really and confident. confident. I think it's the dress. I wonder how much it costs. This one is £1,102. Wow. wow. Lovely. Are you to try a veil? Should I try? Yes, I'll try a veil. <laughs> Ending the day with both of us saying yes to our dream dresses and knowing that we're off to marry our dream men would just be the best outcome. I think, ladies, we have a bride. One question. Alice? Yeah? Are you going to say yes to the dress? I'm not going to say yes to this dress. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's devastating. <laughs> I, I, I'm quite confused. I thought she would say yes. This is definitely not a no. It's a possibility. I've been totally pushed out of my comfort zone, and I'd like to keep exploring out of that comfort zone before I do say yes. Well, you came as an in as a double act with your best mate. So, yeah. so you're very happy, darling, as you are, right? Yes. OK. Yeah, apart from the fact I'm a little sad for you, but. I know that if you know that it's not yeah. the right one, then that's absolutely fine. When we arrived here this morning, I thought I would never find a dress, and I, I thought that you would. And it's a bit of role reversal, and actually I have found something, and Alice is the one who wants to go away and look a bit more. So, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise, really, isn't Changing it? Changing roles for once. Yeah. <laughs> you can always come back here. No, I'd definitely be coming back here. I'm feeling amazing. It was, like, the best experience ever. Although I didn't come away with a dress, I've come away with so many more ideas. I can't wait to go and try more dress on in the future.